What's up everyone? Today we're talking about an awesome topic because if you listen to it, as soon as this came out, it's almost Christmas. How to gift clients appropriately. Why should you do it? What should you spend? And what's a terrible gift? Because there are things such as terrible gifts. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to Contractor Growth Network. I'm Logan. And I'm Alex. And today is all about how do you gift clients appropriately? And why should you do it? How should you do it? All the, the nuances with gifting and why we do it here at Full Sail. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So Alex, the idea of gifting, what does that mean to you? I mean, just giving something, someone you care about or, you know, just giving a nice gesture to somebody. Are you good at, at giving gifts? I'm horrible at giving gifts. Are you good at receiving gifts? In what way? Like, am I appreciative of the gift? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm appreciative of the gift. I I consider that a good, like, good thought, but I don't, like, think of it first to, like, oh, I appreciate you as a person. Let me buy you something special. I'm more like, ah, that's like, let me buy you a beer at one time. You know what I mean? Which is kind of, I mean, that's a gift in itself, but, like, I know, like, in, like, the five love languages, um, gift giving is one of the love languages. So for certain people, you know, it's, per, you know, time spent together, quality time, personal touch, uh, words of affirmation, acts of service. And then number five is gift giving mm -hmm. or gifting. I I like the homemade gifts a little bit more. I think that that's more of like, it, it's like more that thought into it, I feel like. Like yeah. I know like giving me like, I get clothes all the time from my girlfriend. So I'm like, I appreciate that because I need, she's a fashion, you know, expert. I'm not. So I appreciate yeah. that. But you probably come to rely on it at this point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so but like, like you like, like write me a letter or something like that, like something with a personal touch. I, mm -hmm. I appreciate that. I think a little bit more mm -hmm. just because of more thought, I think. So we're going to talk about that today because that mm -hmm. kind of falls under the uh, the bad gifts section okay. when people just do it just to like, get a gift out there to say I gave you a gift. But in reality, it's like, well, you just wasted 20 bucks. I've done that a couple of times. Yep, so. I did. <laughs> Worst gift I ever gave was a uh, girl I was dating at the time. We, we'd we watched this show together, and it was a good show, super funny, um, called Summer Heights High. And mm -hmm. I remember um, for Christmas, I was like, Shh, what do I get her? So there was a new show at the time that had come out called Eastbound and Down, which mm -hmm. is now very popular. But at the time, it was brand new. Yeah. So I was like, all right, this would be a good show. She'll love it because we'll spend time together and watch it. So I bought the, the DVD set because it's back when that was a thing. And I remember beforehand being like, well, I don't know if she's going to like this. So let me go ahead and watch this first to make sure it's a good gift. And I watched it and it was hilarious. So I was like, oh, perfect. So when I gave it to her, in my mind, it was thoughtful. Mm -hmm. In her mind, she said, oh, you, you got me a used DVD set? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, man. Well, when you put it that way, yeah, I did. So <laughs> Took it out of the wrapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it backfired pretty heavily. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> uh, but in hindsight, it was a funny show. Yeah. So she, had, she was like, I appreciate the time, but... Yeah, I won't do that one Still again. Still appreciate it later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so gifting, I'm not great at it either. And I'm, all, I'm terrible at receiving gifts too. Yeah. Like I don't know. If you give me something and I don't like it, I grew up in a household where that's common. Like if you give somebody something and it's not a good gift, you go, oh, okay. Uh, I'm curious. What made you get me this? It's, it's like written all over your face. It's, you can't even hide it. You can't it. even hide it. Yeah. So like I don't know how to fake it. So if really? I – yeah. So it's the same thing when people go, oh, hey, man, like check out this really funny YouTube video. And I'm like, dude, please don't show it to me because yeah. if I don't think it's funny, I'm going to let you know and it's going to hurt your feelings. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have a good uh, acting bone in my body. Yeah. So if you give me a bad gift, I'm just going to go, oh, that's that's great. Yeah. And just try to like play it off. And yeah. Like, on. oh, yeah. Like, that's cool. Like, did it come with a gift receipt or anything? <laughs> you got the receipt for it? Yeah. That's why you always got to give the gift and be like, oh, if you don't like it, you can return it. And even if like you're going to get butthurt about it, just you just got to say that because then if like someone like you comes around, they'll tell you if they don't like it, then it's like, Oh, well, I threw out the receipt, so. Yeah, and that's a fear because I grew up, like, my mom, like, you always just, whatever you gave her, I think there's one gift ever that we got her that she was like, oh, wow, like, I'm going to keep this one because everything got returned. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to talk about today with this is how do you actually know what to gift people so you don't fall in this trap of, like, well, I don't really know what to get them, so uh, I guess I'll just get them uh, an edible arrangement or something like that, which is – which is nice, yeah. but it, yeah. So we'll talk about that stuff. So the idea of gifting, um, it all kind of stems from, I read a book last year called Giftology. We've actually done a whole podcast on gifting, but this is kind of the updated 2019 version, not 2018. So Giftology is a fantastic, sweet little book. Um, it's a short read. If you listen to books on tape, most of them are like between six and 14 hours. I think this one's like two. So, you know, when you're driving from one estimate to another, you could literally just crank it out, mm -hmm. put it on one and a half speed and you're good. Um, 
but it all stems from that book that I read about a year and a half ago. And I put this into practice last year of starting to uh, strategically gift clients, same way that you strategically can show empathy and that kind of stuff. You can strategically gift mm -hmm. and you don't have to spend tons and tons of money to make it happen. So that's kind of where this all stems from. Um, clients loved it. I would say, I would say 75% of clients called me up, thanked me for the gift, loved it. 25% didn't even say anything. So I was like, okay, well, got it. So it. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of like learn like either one, was it a bad gift? Or two, are they just not a gift person? Or three, did I get the address wrong? But I'm pretty sure if the address is right, it's more so. So then like later on, I have to bring it up and go, oh, by the way, did you get this? Mm -hmm. So um, gifting all comes from this one book. I would say if you want to get more into it by the end of this uh, podcast, I would highly suggest lis listening to it. Giftology by John Ruin. You know the author is pretty well. I feel like I've read a, like a couple books and I have no idea who it's written by. I don't know the title. Honestly. Yeah, so I guess for me, like I've I've read the book a couple or listened to the book a couple times. Mm -hmm. So um, it just it helps. Yeah. So I don't I don't know why. Like now that I think about it, like I do know. Do you whenever read I'm, the title like Giftology by John Rulin? Um, well, it's funny. Name. I've actually like so with gift so with John Rulin, he has a company called the Ruling Group. Okay. Now what the Ruling Group does is gifting. So they will. They're like, in essence, like a, a consultant or a consulting firm mm -hmm. for gifting clients. So I've called them before because I actually get, used them to gift uh, a guy. He actually helped me with close a sale. Oh, really? And I sent him a nice Cutco knife that was engraved that said, you know, uh, this was hand graved or whatever it was specifically for Tim and Janelle Quattroni. So I sent that up to him. And that was a year and a half ago, a little more than a year and a half ago, almost two years ago at this point. And this past Thanksgiving, he sent me a text with a picture of the knife cutting the turkey saying, hey, I still really appreciate this. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Exactly. And it has his name on it. And every time he uses that knife, guess who he thinks of? Me. Yeah. That's, so that's, awesome. that's that's where this gifting comes in. Because yeah. if you do it, where you give somebody a gift of like, oh, I'm going to give you a, a, a polo that has a CGN or a full sale marketing logo on it. You may not really care for it, but if you do gifting right, you're going to get stuff like that. So every single time that Tim uses this knife, which is a nice knife, he thinks of me. And the amount of work that Tim has sent me is – it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. All of that for a $160 knife that I sent him to say thanks for this. But with the, the reason I bring that up was I did that through the Rulin Group, which mm -hmm. is John Rulin's company. And I remember calling them up to place the order the first time, and the person's like, hello, this is John. And I'm like, oh – Wow. Is this John Rulin? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I was like, like from the author of the Giftology book. He's like, yeah, it's me. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's pretty so cool. It was cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, calling up like some, you know, to me because I thought it was a big, like a huge deal that, like, you know, oh, you want to talk to John? Ooh, like, Ooh. you're not talking to John, Ooh. but that's four yeah. calls away. Yeah, buddy. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you got to work your way up. So yeah. that all comes from this book. Um, I started doing it last year, and it worked really well. So. Here to talk about it again. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. All right. So first off, let's talk about um, why gifting is appropriate. So you got two sides of pretty much customers. You got brand new customers. You got to go out and acquire. And then you got past customers that most everybody does not tap back into. And what I mean by that is if you think about the fact that most of your business comes from referrals, like I think it's like 80% of contracting business are 100% referral based for the most part. Um, most of your, of your work is coming from past customers, yet what are we always in the mode of? Acquisition. Acquisition. You're forgetting about your money source. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, you know, if you have like stocks and 80% of your stocks are killing it, but you're always spending all your time doing the other 20% that are like, oh, well, hopefully like this, you know, oil fund, you know, if, if I nail it, I'm going to make all this money, but 99% of the time, you're not going to nail it. It's the same thing where people are focusing on the wrong parts of their business to grow. Mm -hmm. So if you're 80% referral, then why not at least get the 80% of people something to let them know, hey, I really appreciate what you know, you helping me out this year in business, mm -hmm. you know, by, by hiring me. So it's way more expensive. There's like stat, every, every company has different stats on it. But I know like, Whenever we run marketing campaigns, the very first thing that we do is we try to, for the uh, contractors, we tap back into the past customer list because those are the easiest people to go back to. Yeah. So, and they're the ones that are providing the referrals. They're the ones that are writing the reviews for your company. So if you really think about your marketing department between the referrals 
And then when you have a new acquisition and, and you say, how'd you find us? They said, oh, I found your website. Oh, I saw your Facebook ads. And then I read your reviews. Who did those reviews come from? Past customers. Past customers. Mm -hmm. So why are we always just leaving past customers in the dust when in reality, that's who we should be putting on a pedestal? And the acquisition stuff is great. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have like this, this database to tap back into, like when I talk to somebody and I'm like, oh, like you have a customer list and like, yeah, we don't really have those. And I'm just like, well, like those are the easiest people to go. Like, did you have a bad experience? Like, let's let's start to build that up. Yeah. So um, that's the easiest thing to tap back into is a past customer list. So why not hook them up? Yeah. So that's where the gifting comes in. So for you, Alex, what's your favorite brand? If you had like, like, what did you spend the most amount of money on this year? Hmm, that's a good Brand question. wise. Um. I don't know. I bought a couple shoes, so I'd, I'll say Nike. Okay, Nike. So if Nike randomly just mailed you a gift card and said, hey, Alex, we really appreciate you spending money with us. You know, this year, you're an awesome customer. You bought three pairs of shoes. Here's a $25 gift card to your next pair of Nikes. How'd you feel about that? I feel great. And the cool thing is, is, is I'm not even talking about gifting like gift cards mm -hmm. to our stuff because those are kind of on the bad side of things. But the fact that if Nike sent some money to you and it wasn't even an Amazon gift card. It was a Nike gift card. So you have to spend more. Because like, like, you can't buy anything at Nike for 25 bucks. No. Every pair of shoes is 150 <laughs> Yeah. So you know they know that you're on the hook for another 125 mm -hmm. But you're going to use it because they, they did that. Yeah. And you're, how are you going to feel about Nike? 25 bucks. Yeah. Exactly. And, and you're going to keep going back. You're going to keep going back. So that's the idea of this, guys. Is not to like lose a bunch of money. It's really to, one, get back in front of past customers to thank them. So that they can one spend money with the, for themselves and two start to refer you out more and more. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to it you? Makes perfect sense to me. Did I mess any of that up? No, I think you did well. Okay, so that's why, right? Go back into the people that make sense. What's the next bullet point we got to talk about? We go. Uh, what they should. Oh, uh, what you should spend on this. Okay, so here's kind of everybody's got a bit of a different rule. Um, this kind of taps into bad gifts. Actually, let's just get the bad gifts out of the way. Let's Can we go. just do that one? Yeah. All right. I have so much in my brain right now. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, things out there because what what ends up happening with this is um, people end up just gifting for the sake of gifting. You mm -hmm. go, well, I gave him a gift, but it's like that's a sh gift. Mm -hmm. Like that's a that's not a good gift. So some of the bad gifts are one stuff that has your logo or your brand all over it because it's the same thing as. Um, if I sent you a bunch of like, I don't know, shirts and all the shirts said Logan on like the left breast. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, who's Logan? <laughs> right. Like, why does that matter? Yeah. So unless it's like an iconic brand, like an Apple or Nike or somebody that like they're known for that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. um, you don't need to send your company logo because you may love your logo, but you also love your business way more than somebody else loves your business because you're the owner. So when you send them stuff of, of your logo, so like we do this with websites and we've talked about this. Whenever we build you a new website, I will send you a Yeti mug that has your last name and your logo on it. Mm -hmm. Because if I send it to you with my logo on it, what's the matter? Yeah. That's what uh, Chris, one of our clients said that to me. He said, the he said Logan, after you finished our website, the exact same week that you sent me my Yeti mug with my logo on it are like local quarry um, or like Stoneyard sent me a, the exact same Yeti mug, but it just had only their logo on it. He said, guess which uh, mug my wife steals every single day? It was the one with his logo and his last name on it. Yeah. So I ended up buying her her own so oh, she wouldn't nice. keep stealing it. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, you know, Chris, like Chris and I, like the owner of that company, we're cool. Like we talk a, a decent amount, not nothing crazy, but he's been with me now. He was actually our first website. Mm. So that was, he took a big chance on me and he's been with us for now for two years wow. of just consistently, you know, for, and, and all that for and a, a nice Yeti mug is the least I can do. Yeah. Well, Yeti mugs are awesome too. Exactly. So <laughs> anything with your logo or your information on it, be very weary of it because people don't give a shit about your logo. Mm -hmm. Like you give a shit about your logo. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. Nice. Second thing is, if you're going to give somebody a gift and you're going to spend a lot of money, don't then cheap out on the flip side. So last year, um, Premier Ponds, right? They, big, big client of ours. Um, it's my dad's company. I got them, um, the team, tickets to go watch the Capitals play hockey. But here's the deal. Could have gotten them nosebleed, but then it kind of sucks. Yeah. So you can't just give them a gift and go halfway. Mm -hmm. So I, I got them box seats. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's full, that's all the way. Because if you go halfway and go, hey, I got you guys tickets, it's kind of like saying, hey, man, you know, uh, I got you a gift card to 
this restaurant up the road. Or like people do this stuff with um, like Starbucks gift cards where they go, oh yeah, I got everybody, you know, $5 Starbucks gift cards if they leave us a review. What can you get at Starbucks for five bucks? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Water. Yeah, <laughs> if that. Yeah. I mean, it's so expensive. So it's like, it just doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to give them something, go all the way and get less people stuff. But if you half-ass it, it's very obvious. Because mm-hmm. if I would have gotten them Capitals tickets, nosebleeds. They all know too that yeah. it's like, oh, so he gave us like, tickets. Like, but... Yeah, like you gave us tickets, but like it's with an asterisk. Yeah. So if you give gifts, go all the way. And if you have a set budget, which we're going to talk about how much to spend on this stuff, don't skimp out on this stuff. Don't mm-hmm. just short it and go, well, I got them a gift. Capital stickers are pretty nice. Or like, you know, oh, I got them a, I don't know, a, um, a sh- like, like an edible arrangement. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just not personal at yeah, all. So it's become like the, the go-to right. last minute Valentine's Day. Exactly. And they're nice. I yeah. mean, edible arrangements are good and people enjoy them. But like when you let off the podcast, you said, I like stuff that feels personal and meaningful. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's you just go on there and you swiped your credit card. Yeah. You didn't exactly. go pick the fruit. You don't even have to deliver it to them. They right. do it. They do everything. They literally them. just do everything. You just swipe your credit card once. So it's yeah. like, you know, you got to be thoughtful with this stuff. And if you half-ass it, then there's no point to even do it. Mm-hmm. So... um you know, like this is going to sound like this is definitely self-fulfilling, but um, like with Tom this year, like he had for his um, uh, for his high school, like he, he's a football coach, right? And he was asking for donations, and I thought to myself, either I could make a donation and help out the football team, or Tom refers me a lot of work. Mm-hmm. What if I make him a big ass donation so he notices? Because if I make him a small one, then that's like a great. But if I make him a donation that he can't refuse, yeah. if you will. So if I'm going to do something, I'm going to go big. So I ended up donating like 2500 bucks. Mm-hmm. So it's like, as yeah. hands down, the biggest donor. Yeah. He knows who I am. So it's, you know, whether it was for the right motives or the wrong motives, still it, his football team still got $2,500 more. Yeah, it's still going to the right place. It's still going to the right place. Mm-hmm. So, and, and obviously, like, I wanted to help out the team. It wasn't like yeah. I was just like, oh, this is a business <laughs> transaction. But yeah. it doesn't hurt. So, yeah. and, and if I were to just donate like a couple hundred bucks, like, it's great. It helps out the team. But still... He, he helps me out a lot with the mm-hmm. business. Like, we wouldn't be where we are without him. So I want him to know that, and that's kind of how I did it. So it's like it's personal. He cares about this personally. And it's like, yeah, hey, hey, you get, like, it's big. I mean, how many uniforms can you get for 2500 bucks? Oh, my God. I mean, growing up, we, we couldn't afford new uniforms every year. I have to wear some smelly kids yeah. from last year. It's the worst. So, so, it's, so it's And you think his kids care? Oh, yeah. No. Especially a football team? Oh, my God, yeah. But it's uh, – back to gift cards real quick. I always have – I have these relatives that they – always gave every year it's that generic like mastercard gift card mm-hmm. like 25 bucks and i'm like this is great because you can like spend it anywhere you want it doesn't have to be like a certain place until eventually it just got like you know inflation happened and more and more and it's mm-hmm. like well i don't really like now i'm older i'm not just gonna like some places don't accept mastercard now and right. i got smart about it so it's like i can only send it like three stores and it's like I'm not going to shop at like Tilly's. Like, yeah. Yeah. And so it got like annoying to a point. So it's like, oh, this again, you couldn't get me like a Wendy's gift card. Like I'd probably be, be, that'd be more useful. Right. But same thing. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's the idea that like, even with like a gift card, like, so for example, with, um, with certain people, like, like family members, like I could give them a gift card to Harris Teeter or Kroger or Giant or like some supermarket that's super practical. Mm-hmm. But is that rememberable? Not at all. Not at all. Because it's going to be one week's worth of groceries. It's literally <laughs> what they already do. So if you can break people out of their mold mm-hmm. and get them something fun and exciting, like that's what you want. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of the idea behind bad gifts. So yeah. get them out of their mold. Don't half-ass it. And don't just put your logo all over it to write it off as an advertising expense. Yeah. Oh, man. That'd be horrible. <laughs> so what should you spend? Here's kind of how I do it myself. So what I do is I go client by client. And I come up with like a certain threshold because the way that I, I break down the money is I look at how much they've spent with me this year. Um, and I kind of factor in also like what's our personal relationship like? Are we cool? Are we not cool? Um, things like that. And I generally take about whatever I net off of them. So you got you take out your um, actual like, you know, cost of goods sold and like that kind of stuff. And then uh, factor in the amount of time that we spent with them overhead. I'll then spend about 5% of whatever I net on them back into them. Hmm. Okay. So that's kind of the rule of thumb that I like to use. So um, if you only had 10 clients this year and they're all about the same, you could just do 5% of whatever you net. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're thinking, well, shit, that's 5% of my bottom line that could be going back to my family. But just think about how many referrals that those 10 people can get you. 
and 5% in the grand scheme of things is nothing of your net, not even your yeah. total, your, your, your bottom line. Are you setting aside like a certain budget for gifting every year? Or is this kind of just like in the spur, like the holiday season, you're like, all right, how much do I have? Like, so for me, it should be set aside, but it's not, it's okay. just at, you know, when in it comes moment. time and then like with certain people, like if they spent 500 bucks, like I'm not, I'm not going to gift that. You yeah. know, it, that's more, it might be like a, a thank you card, yeah. but um, I'm not going to like, there's a certain threshold because if I do 5% on them, that's going to be like, well, you know, maybe I made 200 bucks at when it's all said and done off that 5% of 200 bucks is $10. What could I get them for $10? Yeah. Like here, you know, so I would rather just take that 10 bucks and put that into somebody else that I'm going to get a, a $200 gift card for. Mm-hmm. So 5% of whatever I net off each client, if you know your numbers well enough, that should be pretty straightforward. Um, but that's just how I do it. Yeah. And as far as like, you know, what am I getting them? Uh, what I like to do is just kind of like, it's tough at the end of the year to think back, well, what, what did I do last year? Or like, what would they like that kind of stuff that that's where that, uh, we talked about this before with the customer service, but that Ford model, Mm -hmm. F O R D family occupation, recreation, and dreams. Mm -hmm. It's an acronym. If you have a running in your CRM, if you have a running list, so anytime you talk to a client and they bring up something about their family, go back and write that down in your CRM. So at the end of the year, when you're looking under your top clients and go, well, what would this person like? You can go, well, I know that they went to Disney World this year and they have two kids and one of their kids, um, I don't know, like won state championships in soccer. And then as far as occupation goes, they got a big promotion and this and that. So you actually have like a little catalog on each client. Mm -hmm. So it's way easier to look at that and just come up with ideas versus like thinking back to, well, over the past 12 months, like, what did they do in their life that I could get them something that's meaningful to them? Yeah. That's, yeah. It's like you're, you've seen The Office before, right? Yeah. It's, uh, they have, like, Michael's big with that where he has, like, the index cards on his Rolodex and it's like, you know, oh, this client has three kids, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember that episode. Yeah. And it's like, he's got, like, it's like color coordinating and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, if you've ever seen The Office, Michael's a little bit of a dumbass. So it's like, that's very, that's like a true sales tactic. And it's like a true, like a really good, you know, practice that he's actually preaching in that show yeah so i always i remember that from the first time i watched it yeah and that's exactly true and i granted you have to have organization and discipline to do this stuff to know after i talk to somebody let me write this down but if you can do that when it comes time to gifting Mm -hmm. it is way easier if you truly care you remember top of mind like my dad has thousands and thousands of clients but off the top of his head he can like if someone like he knows someone's voice on the phone he goes oh yeah how's the kids like i know he's like doing this it's like i don't know what triggers in his brain to do that but it he does that yeah so it's like if you know and you actually care you know a little this bit you'll probably remember it. it it yeah it's way easier and if you can write this stuff down you can then outsource this yeah and go they have three kids they do this they do this they do this and then that way your dad who may not be a good gift giver mm-hmm. can just go to a secretary or whoever and go hey here's the top 10 clients top 100 clients whatever it is Please, you know, here's their dossier of who they are. Mm-hmm. Please get them something meaningful. Dossier, nice. You like that? I couldn't spell it, but I know what it means. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if you actually, like, write this stuff down, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. Dreams being, like, what are their what's their end goal? Do yeah. they want to retire young? Do they want to travel the world? Um, things like that. And then from there, that's how you come up with your gifts. So I know, like, for Premier Ponds last year, they all like the Capitals. That's part of their recreation. They love hockey. Mm-hmm. And last year was also the year that the Capitals uh, were doing well, like, really well. Like, I think they, at this point, they had just come off, like, winning the Stanley Cup. Or yeah. actually... No, I think you're right. Yeah. it was No, it was the same season because they won last year. Either way, it oh, doesn't okay. matter. Yeah. yeah. They won last year. But, they, you know, to, to take them all out to that thing. Or, um, you know, like, what, whatever. Like, I just know with them because I know them pretty intimately. But with other clients that are newer... I'm like, I have no idea what to get them because I don't know them that well. Mm -hmm. So in the world of relationship building, because if you're listening to this podcast, you're most likely in the lower urgency side of, of, um, you know, like contracting. You're not a roofer that somebody needs in their home yesterday. You're a remodeler that it's going to take maybe a year of building a relationship with somebody before they spend the 75 grand. So this is how all the relationship stuff gets built. So for me... If I'm sitting here preaching to you, to you guys, you guys need to build a relationship with your clients. It would be kind of hypocritical if I didn't build a relationship with my clients. Yeah. So how'd you come up with the Yeti cups? Because I mean, Yeti's obviously a really great brand, and like for contractors, this is such a practical gift that mm-hmm. you use every day. I mean, I use mine every day. So it's like, how'd you like? What was the thinking behind that? Because I think it's, even if you know them or not, this is a great gift, and you'll yeah. remember that. And and 
I don't even remember. It might have been like my mom got me one. Really? Like just like might be this one that I got right here that says my last name on it. Mm-hmm. But Yeti has a very easy. It's it's Yeti Custom mm-hmm. like dot com or whatever it is. Yeah. I go in there. I put it. I up their their logo, which they've given me because I have their website. I type in their last name. Um, what I used to also do is I used to also just mail it directly to them. Mm-hmm. And then I realized that half of gift giving is not the gift, but it's how you present it. Okay. So it's kind of like sales. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Okay. So if I go, all right, Alex, like, you know, you know, Hey Alex, I'm just curious, man. Like for this project, what, what, what budget are you thinking of versus, all right, Alex, what's your budget? Yeah. Same thing. It's mm-hmm. just how you say it. So with this, I used to just send people this Yeti mug and Yeti doesn't put in there like a receipt or anything. So they don't know where it comes from. Mm-hmm. So it just wasn't good presentation. They love the gift. So what I do now is I get it mailed to me here in the office and Melissa helps out with the website. So we'll write a thank you card together. Oh, nice. And then we put a thank you card in there. And if there's somebody that, um, you know, is younger and wears hats, we'll give them like a full sale hat just because like they don't say full sale. They're a bit more on the trendy side. It's like mm-hmm. the green one. Yeah. Um, and then just, yeah, and just mail that out to them and say, hey, thanks very much for all this. I um, mean, they love it. Yeah. And that, yeah. It's because Yeti is like, it's great quality. And they're, you know, they're not cheap, but they're not like super expensive like the mugs. So it's like, you know, I don't know. It's like you definitely remember who gave it to you. Yeah. It's just like it's perfect gift. I feel and like. you can spend. So these things, I think, cost 50 bucks engraved. Mm-hmm. You know, door to door, fifty bucks. Um, if you don't want to get it engraved, I think a normal Yeti, you can get it for like, I think it's like thirty bucks. Yeah. Um, and then like even with like a military discount, it's like twenty five bucks. Or you can go out and get a knockoff brand for eighteen dollars. Mm-hmm. But, but like the name is Yeti, it's like so people go, well, like these are good. Like if you just get knockoff things to save ten bucks, same thing about going half ass. Yeah. You know, Yeti. Like I went to the hardware store when I was uh, last week and. There's like a corner and it's all Yeti stuff, mm-hmm. but you don't know what it is. But Yeti has that huge brand like logo and that awareness where everything on their sticker is Yeti, 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 yeah. and it's like wow. So that's the Yeti corner. And I was like, I have horrible eyesight, and even I saw it like half the store away. So that's and top, it's but. and it's easy. So even if you like you don't want to put your logo and you're like trying to figure out what to give people, most people drink coffee. Yeah. So you could even if you wanted, you could give people a gift card like Starbucks, like a client. But if you get them a Yeti mug with their last name on it. Uh, I think it was like Socrates said it, but like the your your name is like the sweetest word in your mind mm-hmm. because like that's what you like in a crowded room. Everybody's yelling. If somebody says Logan, you hear it. Yeah, you know, like you know, it's it's you yeah. or like it, it just stands out. It's the same thing. It's called like selective attention. But if you're driving, you've got a blue Ford F one fifty. If you drive by and somebody else with a Ford F one fifty, you're gonna see it. See it all the time. All the time. Yeah. That's why Jeep guys do like the little like. The finger wave thing. <laughs> yeah, Jeep honk. <laughs> yeah, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to start the, the Buick lacrosse wave, but <laughs> it hasn't picked up They're yet. They're all 75 plus. That yeah, can't even hear it. <laughs> in check. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's 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 one of those, that, like, like, you'll pick it out. So if you have, like, your last name, like, on this mug, like, I have this on my mug. Yeah. And I, this is the same mug I use all the time mm-hmm. because it's got my name on it. Yeah, and no one's ever going to steal that. Right, like, who yeah. Who wants a Shin Holzer mug besides your mom, your dad, and your siblings? Yeah, I've, yeah. yeah I've got, like, five <laughs> other people yeah. and a big-ass extended family. But either way, yeah, so... If you give stuff to people that are like the gift cards are fine, but if you throw that with one of these mugs, now it just it just steps up the the game that much more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're talking about here is is when you gift, do the five percent of net if, if that's what you want to spend. Um, when you do it, give them a gift that's not half ass. And then here's one other pro tip that you'll get from the book is don't give if the person is married or has kids or whatever, make that person the hero. Okay. So for Greg last year, Greg's got three young kids. I got him a gift card, but I got him a gift card for the whole family for, I think I got him like a, I think I got him something else in addition, but like I got him a gift card for like a, one of those like cool trampoline zones, like oh. in his area. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So it was like, it was a gift card, but it was like strategic for like his kids. Yeah. So now what happens is Greg gets to take his kids there and guess who his kids think is the hero. Greg. Greg, not me. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a good way to think about it. With Tom. Tom has hooked us up so many times with stuff. Um, I got him like, there's like a perfect, so Tom was a Marine, so I didn't know if he was going to love it or hate the idea, but I got him like a really nice, like um, there's like laser tag out near him. And I got him a gift card for everything for him and his boys to go out there and play. So I didn't know if he was going to be like, oh, dude, laser tag. But this was like actual, like like outdoor laser tag Mm -hmm. with like industrial rifles and like stuff like oh, that wow. so yeah so okay. it was it was a bit different so i asked him i was like is that 
I was like, was that a cool gift or not? Be blunt. He was like, my boy's been asking me to, to take them there. So it was a gift card, but awesome. again, it was strategically done in the sense that it was the right amount for him and his, his two sons. Mm-hmm. Um, it was out in his area. Like it was, it was different. It wasn't just like an edible arrangement. Like it yeah. took me time to research this kind of stuff. Yeah. I think those type of gifts, like even if it, if you didn't like it, you know, you took the, the chance and we were bold enough to go, to go out there and like, Oh, let me try this. I think yeah. as a client or someone, I would notice that and appreciate that. You know, even if I didn't like him, like, well, he really tried. Like he went out there yep. and just get me a gift card to subway you know yeah and he takes his sons out there and and i'm sure he's gonna like his sons are like older so he'll probably say oh this comes from logan because i think they kind of know who i am but um yeah it's just like it just makes him the hero so if you've got a client that is married or has kids do something for the spouse do something for the kids so they look like the hero so it's not just them you know like it's great that you got them a bottle of wine but if they're a single person like it just helps them yeah it's cool but like you know, get get something that the whole family can enjoy because now it's a whole different experience. Yeah, I remember like a uh, uh, one stop we did near Christmas time with me and my father. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the clients left him like a bottle of I think like champagne on the uh, fill pipe and was like, "Oh, that's sick." And then I think he came out like to like tell him about it, and then he didn't realize I was on the truck with him. So I think they ordered fuel like you know two weeks later, honestly. And came back and there was like a six pack of like Coors Light for mm-hmm. me. And he goes, "Oh, for your son," because like I got he didn't know I was coming, so he like uh-huh. thought about it a second time and knew he was gonna order fuel again. And it was like, "Oh, that was nice of him to think yeah. of me on that time." So it was really cool. Because we all know what it's like when we go. Like we used to just like when I would work in the field, like when the client would at the end of the project have beers for us. Yeah. Or hey, on Friday when you guys are wrapping up, is it okay if I come out and grill for you? And we're like, "Are you kidding me? Nothing. You would take time out of your day, and your wallet, and you're already spending a bunch of money and." Beer and barbecue food is what, maybe a hundred bucks? Yeah. You know, but it's just the fact that they would do that and we're so shocked and we automatically absolutely love that client till the end of, of time mm-hmm. that it's crazy that they spent hundred bucks and then on the flip side, when it's like us to go back to them to say, Hey, thanks for dealing with us, it's like, whoa, 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 I don't have an extra of money. Like I don't I don't have that. Yeah. So Yeah. I always like the clients that did that. Like they always like, Oh, you know, like you know, certain around the holiday, or wanted to talk to you, or like, oh, let me see the like, look at this car I got in the garage, or like something like that, where they yeah. kind of went the extra mile to be like, you know, you're not just the fuel man or the pond guy. Yeah, you're an actual human, so let's interact. Yeah, so know. so do that. I mean, I would say to start off, if you got a huge customer list, pick the top, I don't know, twenty five. Mm-hmm. Go for the the you know, whatever you net it off them, and 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 yes, there's gonna be some like, well, like they didn't spend any money this year, should I get them nothing? No, like use your reason, use your what's about you, like go for the influencers because at the end of the day, like you should be gifting from your heart, but at the same time, it's not a bad business decision to be gifting strategically to those. Cause I have, you know, we have people that don't like Tim doesn't spend any money with us, mm-hmm. but Tim always tips my hat when it comes to work. So I'll have people calling and go, Hey, Tim told me to go to you. And then I end up, you know, now like thanking Tim because yeah. it is like, I really want him to, I, I want to like, Hey dude, without you, I wouldn't be where I am. Yeah, exactly. So I want you to know that. But at the same time, like, I don't want you to think that I'm, I'm just taking this for granted and I forgot about you. Yeah. So it's a good two way relationship where I'm just thanking him. Yeah. I think that's something I take. I always, uh, like as a fear of mine to like, mm-hmm. when I actually like, am very appreciative of something or someone, I like mm-hmm. really want them to know to a point where I go overboard. Yeah. So it's like, you know, but I don't, don't want them to think that I'm just like taking it for granted. Yeah. It's like end of the year bonuses with employees. Like mm-hmm. if I gave you guys all a hundred bucks, you're like, what was the point? Yeah. Like just save the hundred bucks. Like yeah. we'd be okay without it. Yeah, you know, exactly. like, yeah. So if you're going to half ass it, don't do it. Pick your top clients to start off with. If you want to go for everybody, that's great. But, um, my rule of thumb is 5% of net of whatever they spent. Um, I also have like a minimum, I think last year when we did it, we're about to do it again. But I think last year when we did it, like if that 5% came out to be like under like 250 bucks um, of what I'm going to spend as my, my budget, I didn't bother. Mm-hmm. Um, gifts last year, what I, what I did for clients was I got them um, a cheese board with their last name on it, like a nice cheese board on it. It came with that. Came, I wrote them a card and then it also came with I bought a bunch of a whole thing of wine at Costco, and then I went to the uh, post office and said, "Yeah, you can't mail that." Really? Yeah. So I, I walked away with uh, like 15 bottles of wine for myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. So wow. it was a hell of a January. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
But either way, yeah. So I learned that one the hard way. But it was still like, you know, all the all the cheese boards, like it it was a nice thing. It had their last name on it. It, it looked good. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And if you get something like for like the wife will like, I feel like a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. a lot of the clients like took a picture of it like at their home. So it was nice. That's but nice. Yeah, it was just it was a thoughtful thing, and that's why really what I did for the people that like were newer, and I didn't really know what to get them because mm-hmm. I was like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know you all that well because we're new, so I don't know necessarily like your your Ford side of things. So that was like my quote unquote cop out, but it still was their name, a nice piece in the kitchen, like something like that. Did so. you consider the turning point to where you started getting like really good gifts was the Ford thing where you started thinking about like that type of stuff for people? Uh, I also like. That's all so newer. No, see, like, I'm not that good. Like, I don't think I'm that good. Um, but I also, like, I don't do it myself. Mm-hmm. Audrey, my sister, my mom. What? Because, like, most, like, so when I'm talking to them, I think just about every client we have is married. Mm-hmm. And I'm not trying to gift the client. I'm trying to gift the client's wife. Uh, yeah. So I'll go to, like, the women in my life and go, hey, what, what, what is good this year? Yeah. You know, so I'm not doing it myself. I'm actually, like, tapping into my resources yeah well that's like my stepmom's sister she is amazing at giving gifts she uh-huh. got my dad like a kegerator she got him like a smoker like one year like these really great gifts and it's like anything else i can't even like think of that i would have never even thought of getting yeah. that so it's just like damn how do you think about this stuff yeah and some people just naturally have it and some don't so yeah. that's why if you have the ford thing so for 2020 when this comes around if you have ford like in your crm written down it makes it way easier because you can kind of recap the year of the client, the life of the client. This is what um, real estate agents do very well. Real estate agents, they'll mail you, like the good ones will mail you like a bottle of champagne on the one year closing of your home. Mm-hmm. Um, like one of uh, my friends here in Charlotte, she's like one of the bigger real estate agents. When you go to closing, um, everybody else like around you, like all your friends when you buy a new house gives you like housewarming gifts. Yeah. She's like, what people forget about is the essentials. So I give you like a full gift basket, but it's a gift basket of like paper towels, toilet paper, cleaning supplies like all the stuff that you don't think to bring to your new house Mm -hmm. um because and everybody else just gets you like pots and pans and a broom and like that kind of shit so Mm -hmm. it's it's a different way of thinking about it but like real estate agents do this very very well they're also good with birthdays um things like that because it's all relationship stuff so we did that when we sold our house in new york we left them like toilet paper paper oh really like as a to new owners be like hey welcome to the, the house like we had great memories it was our childhood house so enjoy it with your new family and it makes a big difference yeah and they appreciate it a lot so yeah so so yeah it's just you know so when you're planning for 2020 do the ford model uh when should you do this at this point you don't have too much time before christmas um i also will gift randomly throughout the year so like this year like i gave um like a dozen people that uh book the tim ferris book behind me that's uh tools of titans because i read it and i was like this is so groundbreaking in my opinion that like there's a lot of there's a lot of people that i think would like to see like uh todd like when we went up to, to Michigan, I brought Todd that book because I was like, you know what? I don't know if he's a reader. I don't know him all that well yet. So let me just bring in this book. And if nothing else, it's a nice gesture. Mm-hmm. Um, but he texted me and he said, ever since you, like a month later, like ever since you came on this trip, he's like, and between that and reading this book, he's like, my head has just been like spinning as far as like ideas. And yeah. he's like, I always get my boys so sorry triple boys if you're listening to this <laughs> Close your ears. Uh, yeah <laughs> he's like i always get my boys like a, a book for christmas he's like i've already bought both of them this book yeah so it's like to some some of the clients are like why would you get me like this thick ass book but to other people like todd he's like i'm sure he's already finished the whole thing yeah i you know derek's already finished this my dad's already finished this so it's like for certain people they take this book and then they're bummed just like how i was when it was done yeah and other people were like oh neat more work yeah so but, you win yeah. some, you lose some, but it just it, it made an impact on me. So I was like, screw it, let me let me get this for other people. So, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Like if you're a remodeler, and you like this this a book that's great, and you have a good connection with like another homeowner, even if it's like, it just doesn't seem like it makes sense. If you send them a book like, hey, I just finished this book. I remember that one time we talked about this, this, and this. There's actually a whole chapter on this book that talks about it. The rest of the book is awesome. Yeah, and just so with Todd, I actually wrote on the inside cover, just thanking him for inviting us up there. So whenever he opens the book, he's always going to remember the time that um, we went up there and worked with him. Yeah, that's nice. It's a good gesture. Yeah, it's all. It, yeah, it, it's all. I mean, it's it's smart. It's all strategic, though. It's yeah. like, but uh, every gift is. You know, every gift, exact. Everything in business really is. Like, yeah. it's always like, you know, if you do it like just like totally selflessly, like that's great. Yeah. However, like, the, but also think about how many companies that like. Todd, for example, interacts with a day 
and how many actually gift him. So it's like, yeah. you know, it's it's strategic, but it's also like, oh, you know, Logan really cares. Right. So It is true. Exactly. Because you know, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Like, he's willing to take a chance and bring us up here. I'm good with it. So yeah. it like, it was a good, it was a good thing. But it's also like, like with these Yeti mugs, like you can send out a Yeti mug, but if you send it out with like their name and their logo on it, like every time they see it, they're going to think of you. So yeah. it's, it's a good, it's kind of like, like pr with promotions. Like if you do a promotion, then that's great. But like, if you want to give a bunch of money off, that works. But if you want to like add something into it that ends up upselling work for you down the road, for example, like with uh, like Victor when we did uh, bathroom remodeling and we said, hey, when you get your bathroom remodel, we want to also power wash the entire exterior of your home. So that way the outside looks just as good as the inside. Well, that was strategic because guess who also does siding? Victor. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's all done with intent yeah. that it's like, yes, this should be coming from the heart at the same time. It can come from the heart and be a win-win down the road. Mm -hmm. And that's really what I'm all about yeah. is doing all this stuff, business savvy, savvy, if you will, but at the same time, like, it's the right stuff. Yeah. And you're a good gift giver. Does, it, does, this all, does this make me seem like I'm doing it, like, from a selfish point of view? No, I don't think so. Okay. No, not at all. Wait. I mean, you're, it's – I mean, I think this podcast is demonstrating, like, this is majority business owners, and I think this is a big topic, like, that to struggle with. Like, yeah. I don't know a business, but – I struggle with getting gifts for people. So yeah. it's like, I try to think of stuff that I would want to enjoy too when I get my girlfriend or, you know, my parents a gift. So yeah, no, I don't think so at all. Okay. Well, cool. And I guess it don't sound like it. <laughs> cool. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find <laughs> out. So, all right, guys, if you enjoyed this, first off, read that book, Giftology. It's a quick one. Um, gift it to yourself. It's it's Ooh, it's well worth it. John Rudin will thank you. Yeah, he will thank you. <laughs> um, and if you like this podcast, do us a favor. Just leave us a review. I know we're, we're slowly, we looked at the stats yesterday. We've slowly been creeping up um, on how many like listens we're getting each month. So really appreciate you guys sticking with this stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there's somebody out there that sucks at giving gifts, send them this one. Hey, there you go. There you go. Cool? Cool. Thanks, guys.